Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new FM21 data save with Spurs um, episode, I don't know now, everything's going wrong, we we have fallen off the pace, we're now 8th, we've lost our game in hand, we're 5 points off Europe, um, and I took a day off uploading yesterday just because I think I needed to take a break away from it, have a look back, I was, I was making rash decisions change the formation left right center so i just thought we'd do a quick game today we're just going to do the one game against palace um have a look over things i changed things up we've gone to a tick attacker and that's what we're playing um we're playing a cautious tick attacker and then we can at least move forward positive attacking very attacking um that's where we're at with things at the moment and that's what i'm kind of feeling um but let's have a look at how the results have been going for us not been good so obviously we're in January transfer window as well and I'll go over kind of what I was thinking for the window and what's actually happened so far near enough nothing um so last time I think we played Blackburn um we lost on penalties we then went and played Brentford who we lost an extra time to beat Southampton drew with Aston Villa and then lost to Liverpool it's been bad been really bad but I've just had some tinkering played a bit we're going to play with some round outers so they roam they switch around they kind of move freely play wherever they want we're going to have Kane as advanced forward we've got a roaming playmaker a Mazzala and a deep line playmaker here um, and the fullbacks on support rather than attack so they don't gun it forward all the time that's where the thought process is at the moment um, but yeah let's I suppose put it to put it to work so far, the only thing we have going for us is we're going to sign Donnarumma on the free. That's it. I thought we're going to have a really good transfer window. We're going to spend some money, bring someone new in to change things. And to be honest, there's just nothing that tickles my fancy. Um, a striker would be nice, but everything's kind of out of budget. Like I think Jao Felix is like over 100 mil. <laughs> um... Yeah, everything's a little bit out of reach for us. There's like Wilfie Zaha, but Wilfie Zaha's pretty naff. Like Palace are having a bad time, and that's who we're about to play. So watch him beat me. Um, but yeah, so far, there's nothing really that I can think of that I want to spend the money on. Next season, we get 40 mil. It's still not a lot. Maybe a new midfielder. I, I don't really know what what I'm looking for at the moment. This is I'm trying not to rush in and spend money for the sake of spending money. I debated Jack Grealish. No, I know what I'm going for. Let's see how much West Ham want for Declan Rice because he looks unbelievable. So that's unacceptable. So what if we go most of our money and some of next season's money as well? We're just going to go straight in. We'll go straight at 50 mil and we'll see what they say. That's bid one. We'll, we can only wait and see how it goes, but he looks really good. So it's one where it's quite tempting. Um, but right, what I'm going to do is just quick pick as I always do just to fill up the gaps then I'm going to go for have a look right, so where's Sun? Sun's tired, that's not good what's that? Okay, I apparently have a promise with Sun I can't remember I don't remember what my promise with Kane was I think it was play less game time maybe have a rest, I can't really remember we'll have to wait and see Bale is not really the round out we're looking for do you know what? Things haven't been working so well. Where's Bergwin? We're going to bring Bergwin in give him a go. Um, and Dombelli is not a Mazzala though. This is the only situation. I can't grab him Birch being more of a Mazzala. So, uh, there we go. Yeah, grab him Birch more the roaming. Ali is the Mazzala. Doherty's just seemingly got himself dropped which isn't good because he's actually quite good left back wise Regelon's tired so we're going to give Davies a run out well, that's what we're going to go for players are concerned the tactics aren't exactly where they wanted them to be but that's fine let's give this a go bit nervous to be honest because we could be getting to the verge of a sack race soon and a sack race is not what we had planned for the season so We'll have to wait and see. Um, pump in the fist. Harry Kane looks inspired and motivated. What's this? You continue to struggle. 
another defeat day could be my last. Okay, that's always good. That's the first time I've had that this FM. Um, I'll pay those rooms no attention. Tuesday match sees you go up against Palace's newly appointed manager, Michael O'Neill. Don't know what to expect. How do you feel, fair in general? I repeat, I don't have a clue. See, I've got to be quite standoffish with the media because they're going to jump down my neck straight away. I'll just say, with each negative result comes closer. Hoiberg appears to be struggling for fitness. Not prepared to discuss. Not discussing. Right, here we go. So the game kicks off. Let's just double check. We are we're on key. We need to be on extended. Um, but it starts well. Nice bit of passing. Retaining the ball well. Oh, I spoke too soon. But we pick the ball back up. That's good. Now just keep the ball. I don't really think we have the players for this style of play. It's happened. Harry Kane scored. I ignore the fact it says he scored 11 goals this season because he banged in about 9 against them farmers. But we lost the ball up here, came back here, and then we just... Do you know what? Birch, great ball through. Kane came into the space there. Boom. Maybe this was what was needed. Maybe this is the difference. Is it the difference? I don't know. This is the problem. It's, it's difficult to say. But, what was that? Three minutes into the game, it looks like a positive start. That's all I can really ask for. Um, but even on extended height, it's been quite a quiet next 20. But it's fine. Laurie's picked up the ball. Soon to be replaced by Donna Rumour. That'll be a next season bringing, though. Obviously, Laurie's getting quite old. But Graham Birch picks up the ball again. Out to Bergwin. One of my round doubters. Doherty picks up the ball. Doherty into Delhi. Delhi to Grumberch. Grumberch Dyer. Doherty picks up the ball again. Delhi through. Oh, this is a lot. That's a lot more positive play than we've had. We've had some absolute shockers lately, but we look a bit more attacking, even though we're on cautious. Obviously, we're sitting back. We're taking our time with the game. There's no rushing the ball now. I think that suits some of the pace we've got a bit more. Like so far, we're dominating possession. They're struggling to get a shot on. Um, we haven't fouled quite a bit, which probably is a good thing. More set pieces, more chance to start fresh. But um, ball goes out to Doherty. Oh no. There we go. David picks up the ball. Graham Birch. Lucas Mora. Graham Birch. Dyer. Play it out wide. Doherty. Whip that back sticks. Harry Kane's at the back. Flat and hard. Harry Kane's got a brace. He scored half his Premier League goals so far this season in one game. I think Palace are at the bottom of the league. Palace are stone cold bottom, so I need to not be too positive. But we're actually playing some proper football. Like you look at the stats, this is a big difference to where we were in the last five episodes. I think there's a definite change, and I think that's what we need. We need to be. I need to take a bit of time away from it and think sensibly, because I was rushing decisions. I was getting wound up. Um, to tell me I'm delighted. They've done really well. So we'll just get the second half underway. Highlight from the off, which is good. Look at Harry Kane just bursting forward. He's playing on that back line, which is good. He's always kind of there at the moment. But Lucas Mora. That was almost a Harry Kane hat trick. Goes out for a throw in. If we can just get in these European positions, we'll be fine. Harry Kane with a free kick. Harry Kane with the hat trick. Oh my god. I don't know where that's come from. I really don't. Tactical masterclass, could you say? Harry Kane with an absolute peach. But, um, you know what? It's a lot more enjoyable when it's going well. Stressful as hell beforehand. Um, awful ball there from Gravenberg. But Alderweireld picks up the ball. We're going to probably bring off Dyer in a minute. He's a little bit tired. Trying to man-manage a bit better. Cut it out before it all goes wrong. But at the moment, I think because they can just play these... Rolls where they don't really move a lot. Lodge, look at this passing for passing's sake. It's great. But Davies picks up the ball, pushes forward. Graven Birch. Oh dear, he's lost the ball. He's lost the ball. Batshawaii. Oh no. Oh no, Batman. Not Batman. No. No, Batman. Oh, they've had a shot. Great run, but into the side net. Like, they were never scoring from there. But right, let's make our first change of the day. 
So we're going to bring on Undombele in that CDM position. And everyone else is kind of playing all right, and everyone's a little bit tired, but no, nothing major. Bring off Bergwin, we'll give Bale a run out in this new formation. See how he does in the round out. I know it's not really his position, but he leaves us at the end of the season. And at the moment, I haven't really got the temptation to bring him back. It's one where, in my mind, I can probably get someone better. Great save there. Right, so they're, they're starting to invite bring the pressure on really but their, their chances aren't of any s substance um, so far 3-0 we're comfortable I don't see us losing this one now but they are Batshuayi Hugo Lloyd they should have probably scored there they have been knocking for the last bit whoa and then all of a sudden Doherty's absolutely ruined so we bring on Aurier just to fill in the gap there get a rest but look, look, look how bad Klein's been playing for them 5.9 so far, very positive though. 72% of the ball. Good ball in there from Bale. Gravenberch put it over the bar. Gravenberch one that will keep playing. We need to bring in some more youngsters that can develop and we can watch them improve over time. We're looking for some long-term players. If you've got any wonder kid ideas, let me know down below in the comments. Always appreciate it to find some new players. So let me know. And next thing you know, they could be in the team. Um, here we go. We're retaining possession well here. Aurier. Deli Alley, Aurier, Deli, Gravenberch, Aurier again, Aurier loves an assist, Lucas Mora, 4-0, this is a huge change for us, we haven't been in the races at all to be honest, we've been well off the pace but all in all, a nice bit of play there, Gravenberch puts it out wide, Aurier does love an assist, Lucas Mora heads it in, perfect, so that's it's exactly what we needed really. We needed a big win, confidence boosting. Gareth Bale, back sticks. Right, can we get one more? Can we go five? Their first game in charge. That's got to be final whistle, surely. That was a bit of a pointless highlight, otherwise. Yeah, there we go. Um, and the hands on hips. Well done, lads. Good win. Right, that's it for today. I would play the United game, but I've not really got the time, so... Um, we'll revisit in probably mid-Feb I'm just being very positive trying to build morale back up because the team hated me but that's fine we've done it we've got the game done we came out of a good result um, let's have a quick look at the schedule so we've got United Jet next which I don't, I don't know if kind of hopeful. What I think I'll do is return for Fulham and the first knockout round. Um, something like that and then we'll probably do a Wolves and the second knockout round as a, an episode as well. So we get both knockout games in and then we're, we're surging through. We are surging through. But for now I think I need to have a look around the market see what we can bring into change and that's it. So make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video guys. Cheers.